guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be in response to a woman's video and it was titled, Plus Size Women Stop Wearing Fashion Nova Curve, It Is Not Meant For You. It's funny because I actually wanted to talk about this on my channel for some time now, but I just didn't know how to like say it. So this video kind of gave me the opportunity to touch on every single thing I actually wanted to talk about but in one video so I'm just gonna use this as a response video also just a little disclaimer this video is not in any way intended to be hateful or malicious or trying to bring her down in any way because I really do believe she had the best of intentions and I will say she did say some things that I did agree with but that being said I've noticed that a lot of things in today's society especially with like plus size women and you know curve becoming like a norm thing that people are all about being curvy and thick and this that and the third I feel like there's still a lot of ignorance around it that people don't realize and even if they have the best of intentions and try not to be ignorant about it they can still be ignorant about it I feel like that's kind of what this woman was I feel like she had the best of intentions but I feel like she was blissfully ignorant. I don't believe she had any malicious intention whatsoever. What she pretty much was saying is pretty much what I personally think is wrong with how society views plus size women. Anyway, we're gonna move on. We're gonna just jump into this two feet forward because we have a lot to discuss. So I actually have a little notebook here with all my little notes that I wrote down from her video. So I'm gonna be saying some direct quotes and whatnot. Also, I didn't even say this, I will be putting the video in the description box if you guys want to check it out. The link's going to be in the description. Feel free to watch it if you'd like. So a little bit of background knowledge. So I was just, I came across this video because I was looking at like plus size fashion things because I love looking at that kind of stuff. But I looked at plus size fashion stuff and this was in my recommended, which I don't know why it was in my recommended, <laughs> but it was. The, the title caught my attention because I was like, that's kind of rude. And I noticed that the video had... A decent amount of views so I was like mm, maybe it's just clickbait but let me check it out so I started watching it and I was like oh she seems really nice she seems really cool and then I started picking up on the little ignorant things that she would say and I'm like mm, this video is hiding some underlying things so this woman is not plus size by the way because I feel like that's a valuable piece of information this woman is not plus size she says that she works in the fashion industry or she's I think she makes clothing or maybe she's I don't know I know she does something within the fashion industry so that's where she's saying she's getting her knowledge from because she works in this industry and stuff like that pretty much I noticed that she started saying the word flattering a lot I counted I think 20 times and then I just stopped counting because I was like okay this is ridiculous at this point but she constantly said this is not flattering wear something that's flattering 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 blah, 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 blah. flattering now I hate that word because I feel like that word is used it's it's more of a nice version of saying that you should not be wearing that it's more of a classy way of saying that. In regards of clothing, I'm, I just, I don't believe there's something flattering. I can understand how something may perceive to look better on other people than others, but I wouldn't go as far as saying flattering because especially when you're using the term of the oh, that's not flattering or people need to wear things that are flattering. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't sound right. It's just as like, okay, but it's my body. I know it's flattering on my body. That's it. If you say it about yourself, if you're like, this doesn't really flatter me, I'm 100% behind that because you know what works for you. If someone else is saying it about somebody else, no. So moving on, she, and I quote, said, not buying pieces that are appropriate for their body types. Appropriate for body types is what I had an issue with because who is somebody else to say that Something is appropriate for my body type. Also, like, appropriate. Appropriate? Appropriate about what? What would be considered not appropriate? Then she continued to say, <laughs> too short, too tight, and too plunging. So you mean to tell me that if I wear something that you consider short, or you consider too tight, or you consider plunging, that that makes it inappropriate 
for my body type or unflattering. But that's based on perception though. That's, to me it may not be tight. To me it may not be short. To me it may not be plunging enough. It's based on perception. My thing is, who cares? <laughs> I just don't understand what makes something too short what makes something too tight what makes something too plunging if it makes somebody feel good and like there I have one bodysuit that I have that has a really deep plunge in it I feel like a boss in it and I feel great and I think that that is what clothing should do it should boost your confidence it should make you feel good about yourself it shouldn't who who is somebody else to tell you that you can't wear that because they think it's too short, they think it's too tight? Who cares? Who cares? If you feel the need to tell somebody else that something is too short, too tight, too plunging, that the spaghetti straps are gonna break, that's another thing she said. If I wanna wear spaghetti straps, I'm gonna wear spaghetti straps. If I wanna wear shorts, and they're short, and you can see my cellulite, I'm gonna do it. If I'm wearing something that's too tight and you can see my back rolls, and you can see my stretch marks, or whatever it is I don't care if I don't care neither should you that is it's none of your concern you shouldn't be looking at someone and being like oh well that's too tight that's too short that's unflattering that's inappropriate for her to be wearing at her size where's the line where who drew the line you know it's like everybody has a different perception something that may be too short for somebody else may not be too short for some for another person who is the one to say that that line is that is where that line is if that makes any sense now she went on to say get clothing that is it is appropriate for your size and get materials that are flattering on the body and clothes that fit you correctly <sighs> in case no one knows this there is no correct way of wearing something you want to put a belt on your head and call it fashion you do you that is fashion that is your personal style if you want to wear vertical stripes which is something she also mentioned in this video and you feel good in it go for it there should be absolutely no rules there should fashion doesn't have any rules that's it people can wear what they want flaunt what they want, show off what they want. That's the best part of fashion is that that's how people express themselves. That's how people show people without even talking to them the kind of person that they are. Now, she said materials that are flattering on the body. I mean, I don't understand how a fabric could be flattering, but here we go with that word flattering again, but I don't quite understand how a material could be flattering. That's it. I mean, for me, personally, if I'm comfortable in a specific material that, to me, <laughs> works, I'm gonna go with it. Also, to touch on the topic of clothing that fits you correctly, there's no correct way of wearing clothes. So, I don't understand how that could even be a thing. You can wear whatever you want, whenever and however you want. Bottom line. Then she went on to say, things should look... Oh, this is gonna be the one that I had the most problem with. This is the one where I was like, that's not even advice, that's not even anything. This is just a little bit of your prejudice coming out and I feel like everybody has a little bit of this prejudice. But one thing, this is the one thing she said that really, really bothered me. And we're gonna talk about this a little bit more than the other topics. She said things should look smooth. She said you should, people should buy shapewear if you're gonna wear certain things. And she referenced the term lumps and bumps multiple, multiple times in this video. This is where I get upset because this is where my own insecurities and I know a lot of other girls' insecurities stem from, that things should look smooth. We're living in the generation or the time period of the Kardashians where they are considered curvy. But their version of curvy, and same thing with like Ashley Graham and some other plus size models that are really big, they have flat stomachs and they have these perfect hourglass shaped bodies. They look perfect. They look like a freaking sculpture out of Italy. That's not 
real. It's not real. It's not real. Me and one of my girlfriends, we've literally talked about so many times. She's a plus size girl like me. We're literally the same size. We've talked about this a hundred times about how like, where's the pooch? Where's the stomach? Where's the cellulite? Where's all this stuff? Like all these plus size models, where, where is the plus size part of you? Where is, I mean, everybody's different. Yes, I understand that. But the fact that only plus size models that have these certain figures or no cellulite on them or no pooches and by pooch I mean like the little stomach that kind of like hangs a little bit or like bulges out I call it the pooch where are these girls where that is what plus size is and that's I mean and I'm not saying everybody's like that there's tons of plus size girls that don't have a pooch and don't have all that stuff but where are they being represented the girls with the pooch and with the cellulite. I've seen only a couple that are like that. And the fact that she's saying it should be smooth. Listen, girl, I can't help that I have, I mean, I can't help it, but I have a stomach. I can control where the fat goes on my body. I'm sorry that I'm not like Ashley Graham where everything is just smooth and flat all the way down and that I have a stomach. I can't control that I my legs and my butt have cellulite in them so they look like bumpy lumps and bumps sorry sorry I can't control that so I should be forced to pay because banks are expensive I should be forced to buy shapewear to make me look like this because this is what okay but if I'm gonna wear this but I need to look like this that no no if I want to wear something I shouldn't have to be forced to look a certain way in it Everybody's different. That's the best part of humanity is everybody's different. Everybody has different qualities. Everything, everybody has different traits that make them special. And if my pooch and my crinkly butt <laughs> is a part of what makes me me, then I'm gonna own that. I mean, yeah, I own a pair of Spanx. I will admit it, I have Spanx, but I literally wear it maybe 20% of the time. I feel good in them, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel good enough to suffocate myself for hours. One of my other friends though, she lives by her Spanx. She loves them because they make her feel confident, which that's okay too. However you achieve your best confidence, that is what should matter to you. If you feel confident without Spanx, you feel confident without looking smooth, or you feel confident without the shapewear, and you don't give a rat's ass about your lumps and bumps, then girl, own it. It should not matter what anybody else thinks. And the fact that there is someone on the internet with a good amount of subscribers and this video with a good amount of views is saying that girls should hide their lumps and bumps and be smooth. Girl. Girl. Come on. No. If my little pooch offends people, then they got a lot more problems than just my pooch. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Then she also went on to say appropriate for size again. And then she said, oh, this is the other one that I had a big issue with. She said, knowing your worth by not showing off everything. This could also pertain to my thin girls out there. We need to stop telling women that just because they show more skin or they show their stretch marks or they show their arms that may have wings on them <laughs> or that they show their legs and you see their cellulite that they are worth less. For so long, I have stretch marks everywhere. I've talked about this a hundred times on my channel. I have stretch marks everywhere, literally everywhere. Most of them have faded now because I'm older, but I have them on my arms. I have them in the back of my legs. I have them on my stomach. I have them on my legs. I have them on my boobs. I've, I literally have them everywhere. <laughs> and for the longest time, I wouldn't wear certain things because they would show off my stretch marks. And I'm like, oh, I don't wanna wear my stretch marks. People are gonna judge me. People are gonna be like, ew, gross, she has stretch marks. If my stretch marks offend somebody, that's their problem. That's their prerogative. That has nothing to do with me. Everybody has stretch marks. Even some of my thinnest friends have stretch, have stretch marks. Like one of my friends, She's probably watching this video. One of my really good girlfriends, it, she is a very, very thin girl. She even says it all the time. But she has stretch marks from growing so fast. Everybody has stretch marks. And that kind of helped me be like, okay, well, 
if even the thin girls have stretch marks, then why am I hiding mine? That doesn't make sense. So, and that also pertains to the fact of like, just because I show them off or I show more skin or I show my my wings, that doesn't mean I'm worth any less. If I want to wear booty shorts and a crop top, girl, I'm going to do it. That means nothing to my worth or my personality. And just because I show more skin doesn't mean I think any less of myself. That's the other T. Because that's another misconception a lot of people have. That just because a girl is out here showing herself off, that she doesn't think of herself as worthy. Let her do her. Let her. It doesn't concern you. It doesn't concern anybody else, what everybody else is wearing. Her last piece of advice was that if you're going to wear the short things and you're going to wear the plunging things and you're going to wear the tight things and show yourself off, make sure everything is covered and everything is sucked in. I have no words. I have no words. I am not going to cover myself. I am not gonna hide myself. I am not gonna not wear shorts in 100 degree weather because you might find it offensive. I'm not going to put a jacket on in summer to cover my arms because you might be upset and not think it's flattering for me to be wearing a tank top. I'm not going to do that. In my opinion, this is my own personal style. I hate wearing big things. I feel like maybe I'm the only plus size girl that thinks this way, but I hate wearing big frumpy things. I feel like it makes me look 30 pounds heavier than I already am. And I can't, I can't afford to look heavier than I am. I like wearing the tight things. It makes me feel good. I, I feel great wearing them. I like showing off my arms. I like showing off my legs. I went through enough of a period of time where I felt the need to cover myself up. And I'm over it. I'm 24 years old. I quite frankly don't care if you think I should cover myself up. And as for the sucked in part, honey, why am I gonna put myself through the kind of torture and uncomfortableness of being to appease other people. The only person I care about making happy is myself. And I'm telling you now, I'm not gonna be happy in the Spanx. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. there ain't nothing comfortable about taking 20 minutes to, to take a pee because you gotta get undressed, fully undressed, or literally breaking a sweat, putting them back on or putting them off, taking them off. <laughs> There's nothing cute about that. There's nothing fun about that. There's nothing enjoyable about that. <laughs> so why am I gonna put myself through that? Because somebody else thinks I should look smooth and I should look sucked in. Honey, if I wanted to look sucked in and look thinner, cause that's what you're trying to get at, I would just lose weight. If I lose weight, I lose weight. If I don't, I don't. I'm just living my best life, that's it. I'm living, I get one life and I'm gonna live it however. I'm not gonna be caught up on what other people think I should be wearing. I'm not gonna be caught up on what other people think I should be doing or dressing like or what I should be putting on my body and what I should be covering up on my body. I am gonna dress for myself. I'm gonna dress what makes me feel good. And if you're a girl that feels better wearing bigger clothes or living by these rules, then that's okay too though. If that's what makes you feel good, that is all I personally care about. As long as people are dressing to what makes them happy, I don't care. People need to stop telling everybody else what they need to be doing, how what they need to be saying, how they need to be acting, what they need to be wearing, that their makeup needs to be done, that their hair needs to be done. If someone feels confident without hair and makeup done and dressed to the nines, then leave them alone. Let them, it's their life, let them live it. And one of the things she said was express your body in the right way. People are allowed to express themselves in any way, shape, or form that they want. And that's the purpose of expressing yourself. So that line is contradicting. She's basically saying you can express yourself, but make sure you're doing it in the right way. There is no right way to express yourself and don't let anyone tell you any different. If you want to express yourself by putting glitter on your whole body and wearing a crop top and like little cute shorts, that is expressing yourself in the right way for you. And that's all that should matter. That's it. I'm not going to go too much farther into this because we could, I could literally talk about this forever. But my point is, is everybody needs to stop telling everybody else what they need to be wearing and what they need to be doing. To all my chunky girls out there, 
There is no fat girl dress code. There is none. The dress code is, is what you feel comfortable and what you feel confident wearing. That is the dress code. That's it. So girl, if as long as you're doing that, you're living by the dress code. That is it for today's video. I don't want to go on too much. If you want me to go more in depth in this topic, I'll be happy to. If there's other things you guys want me to talk about, put that in the comments. I would love to talk more about this stuff because I love talking about this stuff with you guys because I feel like this is my platform to talk about this stuff that I have been insecure about way back when I was in high school and for years. And if I could at least help one girl feel good about themselves or one guy feel good about themselves, I'm going to do it. That's it. If you guys have other things you want me to talk about, any other topics you want me to talk about, any other questions you want me to answer, I will be here and I will try my best to answer them for you and talk about it for, with you. So leave a comment below with any of that stuff. If you like this kind of video, give this video a like so I know you guys like these kind of videos. So, and if you want to see more of me, maybe more lighthearted next time, <laughs> make sure you guys subscribe and hit that little notification button so you guys are at least notified whenever I post a video because apparently YouTube doesn't do that anymore. So RIP. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay? Okay? Okay. Bye.